Meghan Markle and Prince Harry to split from charity set up with Prince William and Kate. In the latest development of the royal rift, the Sussexes are about to break away from the couple's joint charity, the Royal Foundation. The young royals were dubbed the Fab Four after they appeared together on stage together last spring for their charity's first Q&A forum, in what was supposed to be an annual event. But just 15 months after their first and only joint appearance, the Sun can reveal the two couples will go their own way and pursue their charities separately. Royal aides have been quick to point out that it's not the end for the four of them working on individual projects together. But it's a major blow for the Royal Foundation, which Meghan only officially joined after her wedding last May, which had intended to harness the star power of all four. And it comes after Harry and Meghan broke away from Kate and William's household at Kensington Palace to establish their own. They also moved to Windsor instead of moving into the apartment next door to the Cambridges, as revealed by The Sun last year. The source pointed out that Meghan and Harry want to do things differently to William and Kate, and that they can do that because Harry is not in direct line for the throne. And the royal household split has been a good thing. The brothers' relationship has vastly improved since their working lives have separated. It's worth noting that a royal source told Dell.com back in March that Kate and Meghan were slowly embarking on very different paths, given their respective husbands' very different future roles in the monarchy. Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace declined to comment on the Sun's report, while a spokesperson for the Royal Foundation said, There is a review underway and no decision has been taken. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry planning revamp a Frogmore cottage to make it perfect for baby Archie. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have applied for planning permission to revamp the Grade 2 listed building to make it perfect for baby Archie. The revamp will include extra improvements to their home's exterior, such as alterations to doors, windows and walls. The new parents are looking to install lighting in the garden and carry out landscaping in the large grounds. A source told the Mirror. The Duchess is very involved in the project and wanted the final design to be perfect for them and Archie. The plans were revealed in documents published by Windsor and Maidenhead Council, which will decide on the applications. The house, built in 1801, would be paid for from the taxpayer-funded sovereign grant, while landscaping would be paid for privately. Harry, 34, and Meghan, 37, moved into the home in Windsor, Berks in April ahead of the birth of their first child Archie on May 6. Meghan Markle has found her California roots on the grounds of Frogmore Cottage. Meghan Markle has reportedly found her California roots on the grounds of the new home she shares with Prince Harry, Frogmore Cottage. People magazine reported that the former actress and star of Suits discovered two towering redwood trees in a lush area of a garden near Frogmore House. Redwood trees are synonymous with Meghan's home state of California. The garden is within walking distance of the couple's cottage. Mother Nature Network reported that redwood trees are generally only found in specific areas of California. The site reported that there are coast redwoods, which are found on the west coast, from California's Big Sur Southern Oregon. People noted that one of the trees on the Frogmore House land is more than 160 years old. The second tree is around 30 years old. Markle left her home state of California and America behind when she accepted Prince Harry's marriage proposal in November 2017. Since that time, Markle has lived in England with Harry. First, the couple lived together at the Prince's cottage on the grounds of Kensington Palace near Harry's brother Prince William, his wife Kate Middleton, and their three children Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. After the couple married in May 2018, Markle and Prince Harry remained on the property of Kensington Palace as they navigated their first year of marriage in the public eye. The couple announced they were expecting their first child together in October 2018 shortly after they left on a royal visit to Australia. Markle and Prince Harry reportedly planned the move to Frogmore Cottage after learning they were expecting, hoping that the home would allow them privacy for their young family. After months of renovations, the couple moved into their new home in April 2019, just one month before welcoming their son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor to the world on May 6. 
The grounds of Frogmore House and Cottage hold a special place in the collective heart of the couple. It is where they took their official engagement portraits shortly after announcing their intent to wed. Frogmore House is also the place where the duo held a private reception for family and friends the evening of their wedding day following a more formal reception held at Kensington Palace and hosted by Harry's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth. Prince Harry did the sweetest thing for Meghan Markle at the Queen's Garden Party Wednesday. Meghan Markle will be on maternity leave for the next couple months, but Prince Harry was thinking of her yesterday when he attended the Queen's Garden Party at Buckingham Palace and made a special effort to chat with representatives from each of her four patronages, according to Hello. The outlet reports the Duke of Sussex played host for Meghan and made sure each charity's guests, whom Meghan invited to the party, were taken care of at the event. Meghan's patronages thus far are Smartworks, the Mayhew, the National Theatre, and the Association of Commonwealth Universities. The Duchess of Sussex made a visit to each one before going on maternity leave. Sussex Royal, the couple's Instagram account, detailed Harry's meeting with those guests and his own. The Queen's Garden Parties generally, Sussex Royal wrote are a means of recognizing guests for the good work they are doing in their communities, a tradition steeped in history and dating back to the 1860s during Queen Victoria's reign. With yesterday's event, the Duke of Sussex met with several guests including those that he and the Duchess extended a personal invitation to based on their extensive work in the community. His Royal Highness met with a representative of At African Pax Network, of which he is president, a mental health consultant for Atware Invitas Games and countless others who are leading by example with high-impact cause-driven work, Sussex Royal wrote. The Duke also greeted several representatives of the Duchess patronages on her behalf, as she is on maternity leave and was unable to attend, the couple's Instagram continued. These include members from Matthew Mayhew as well as the Association of Commonwealth Universities. Meghan's next public appearance is expected to be at Trooping the Colour, on June 8. Kate Middleton, during her maternity leaves, always attended the ceremony, as it is a royal family event, and all senior royal family members are expected. Meghan will likely follow suit. Prince Harry has a very busy week as Meghan Markle's maternity leave continues. While Meghan Markle is on maternity leave, hanging out at home with baby Archie who, by this point, we imagine is fluent in multiple languages and has already written a book of poems her husband Prince Harry is maintaining a very busy schedule of engagements. While it's of course not unusual for Harry to make a bunch of appearances in any given week, of course, there is something of a harsh TBT feel to it given how we've all become so used to Meghan and Harry's appearances together, and the whirlwind of attention that surrounds them whenever they show up somewhere as a duo. Harry's events this week have been decidedly more low-key. Over the weekend, Harry travelled to Rome to participate in the 9th annual St. Bar SPS Hand Polo Cup, where he did his polo thing, and helped raise funds for St. Bile the charity he co-founded in 2006 to support children and young people who are affected by HIV in Southern Africa. He hung out with Nacho Figueres, his longtime friend, who told reporters Harry seems to be very, very happy, adding I think this is a very exciting part of his life. I think that he is loving it and I always thought that he would be an amazing father. Insert your heart eyes emoji of choice here. Harry then Loki again exclamation mark was spotted boarding a commercial flight back to London, according to a non-looker, per Yahoo Lifestyle. The fellow passenger wrote on Facebook, as I'm standing there, I look over and see a guy who looks like Prince Harry, and he has a wedding ring on and looks very tired. He politely smiled and said hi when he realized I knew who he was. She provided proof in the form of a photo, which has since been reposted on a fan Instagram. I tried to get a photo as he got off the plane, she wrote. I didn't want to harass him and felt bad taking one, but it isn't every day you see him. Very tired as he may have been, Harry got right back to it this week, attending the Queen's Garden Party on Wednesday, and then, on Thursday, attending the opening match of the ICC Cricket World Cup in London, where he met with young children and gave an inspirational speech about the legacy of the tournament. That's all well and good 
but the real excitement came when he chatted with his adorable mini-me, as people described him. The boy wearing a blue baseball cap has not been identified, but he has already achieved an impressive level of fame, scoring a coveted spot on the Sussex Royal Instagram account.